Good morning, guys. What we have here for review is the 2019 Nissan Navara. This is the 4x4 version and it's in Alpine White. It's a 2019 release. It's only about three to four days old. And um, let's see what we have in store for this. So we have the accessories that come with this variant are the DRL headlights, the fog lamps, I believe, um, the camera, the camera for the 360 degree is here. And um, but I believe that's available on the EL version then. So as I've mentioned, this is a March 2019 release, meaning it has the F2 conduction sticker letter, meaning the F2s come out on March and April and so on. The F1s on January, February, late December, and the F0s maybe October or November of last year. It arrived from the port of the south, I would assume, but this car was manufactured in Thailand. One feature of the Navara is the multi-link suspension as compared to the old leaf suspension and other pickup models. Um, all variants come with this, which, which is why they say that the Navara has a higher comfort rating as compared to its competitors like the Hilux, the Ranger. But then again, that is subject to uh, how the user views it. So the exterior in regards to Accessories and everything, it's all pretty much similar to the EL version, 2x4 version, only with a little bit of differences like the DRL, uh, the fog lamps, but I think the some 4x2s have the fog lamps as well. And um, I think the 4x2 one has the camera too, so literally not much. But the interior plays a really huge part in it because it's talaga nagbabago in terms of the gauge, the, the computer, the stereo and everything. So we'll get back to that. So this is the key for the VL Navara. Um, this model comes with a smart key, one that the EL doesn't come out with. So with the VL version, as long as the key is around the car or as long as it detects the car, you could you could just press this and it would automatically unlock all the doors. Or if you're leaving, you could easily just exit the car, press this, and it would lock all the doors and you could leave. This one comes on the other side as well. So this is how you would enter the 2019 VL Navara. The interior of the VL Navara is where it comes and becomes a little tricky as compared to the EL1 because this is where everything changes. For example, the VL Navara has power seats, forwards, backwards, recliner, steering wheel controls as compared to the EL Navara which has literally none, nothing here. And to give you guys an honest review, the EL Navara looks a little dated as compared to this one. Well, even this one seems a little dated because they only provide you uh, as compared to a Hilux, they only provide you with um, with a small screen here that isn't touchscreen. However, it does support iPod, CDs, FMs, Bluetooth, which is good. The EL one does not have Bluetooth. The aircon controls of the EL and VL Navara are the same. They're not automated, but they are the same. I think these are called the push type. This one is a four-wheel drive, as you could see here. The difference for me of the Navara VL as compared to the EL, I think, is the push start button, which is right here. So as long as it senses that your key is in the area, simply press the brake and press this, and then it should turn on. So this is a cool feature on the VL Navara um, that the EL does not have. Um, the EL's uh, gauge, I think I should post a picture of that somewhere around there, yeah. Looks really dated talaga, sin mo siyang luma, unfortunately. However, the gauge cluster has um, has a few options that you could control with this, the settings option. So meron siyang fuel economy, meron siyang Bluetooth audio, meron siyang mga warning mo, meron siyang um, settings, clock, meter settings, vehicle settings, maintenance, alarm. Meron siya nito, which is um, a sort of hologram or a display of the car. So when you open it, uh, it can show what doors are open or what is unlocked and all of that. I have 365 kilometers left on a half tank. So the meter settings, body color, where you could choose a body color of your choice. Personally, the car is white, but red seems to come out for the best. The car's mic is here and you have a little holder here for your glasses. The fuel buttons would be here. And as for the, the driver side control panel, you have um, unlock and lock. And this one is a pretty cool feature, I might say, because this actually enables you to close and open the side mirrors like this. So I think that's pretty neat kapag you mo park sa medyo masikip na area and uh, you'd have to close it and open it eventually. However, the new Montero does, pag nilock niyo yung doors niya from outside, it does automatically close it. So I wish they could have had that. So for the stereo controls, we have source which leads you to this. You have Bluetooth, Auxiliary, AM, FM, 
dito mo pwede plug yung USB mo and um, you have another plug for any aftermarket charger here um, and another one right here right here one feature that I like from the Navara is the 360 camera or the all-around sensor where if you switch it into reverse you will be given a view of the car surroundings from all edges and um, a reverse parking sensor guide however I don't think it beeps but then again I may be mistaken you can also access this when you drive by simply holding the display button and it brings you to the front of the car and the front camera that I showed you earlier for the back there's not much to see here aside from the cup holders which are put here and one nice feature of the Navara 2 is that they have included dual air cons for the rear so the car is actually very very cold considering wala pa siyang tint talaga malamig siya the four wheel drive settings are here which you could easily just twist over to 4H 4 high or push it and then head over to 4 low um, and it brings us right here Unfortunately, the VL version does not come with dampers and it is still a manual um, mechanism here to keep the hood up. So the windshield washer is right here, the coolant reservoir is right here, fuses would be here, um, radiator here, I believe this is the brake fluid, and um, this one I'm not actually entirely sure. So this is the engine sound when the car is on. It isn't actually as loud as you'd think it is, but it just sounds like a basic diesel engine. The DRLs are on at the moment. I think they're a very good touch. However, the fog lamps are not DRL, but there are aftermarket alternatives to this where this area could be DRL. The pickup's tool area actually came as a surprise to me, but quickly found out that nakatago siya beneath the rear seats. Naka Velcro yung area dito. Um, the jacking point is here, the screwdriver, and anything else that you might need is just hidden right here. And as for the bed, it should come with a bed liner, however, na ubusan do yung kasa. The capacity of weight is around a thousand kilograms. After all, it is a pickup, and that's what it is for. So, pretty simple setup. Heavy door, the camera would be right here. The taillights are, I think, the same with all variants. Pretty simple setup. So I think that pretty much sums up the whole car. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. If you guys want to see more car reviews, simply subscribe. And this has been Refong Silver bringing you honest car reviews. And um, I'll see you guys next time.